G'day. Today we're out and about in the John Forest National Park. I'm here with the princess. Hello. And we're at the Glenbrook Dam. And we're going to have a look around this lovely national park today. It's a beautiful day. It's not too hot. Uh, a little bit breezy, so I'm not sure how the sound quality is coming. But uh, anyway, it's going to be a good day. So let's go and have a look around. Bring back a lot of memories. Space Invaders, Pac Man. What else they got here? This is Galaga, I think. I remember playing this as a kid back in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. I got Frogger as well. This is a blast from the past. Time for some lunch. Mm. How's your burger, Princess? Very nice. Have a look at that. It's an old railway bridge here in the National Park. Must have had trains come through here at some stage. By the looks of it, not for some time. The Janesbrook Bridge. This is the first of four bridges built in the park for the Eastern Railway and was completed in 1895. Originally built of locally sourced Jarrah and Kari, it spanned 60 metres. It was replaced in the late 1920s because of age. Increasing size and frequency of locomotives and wagons servicing the eastern agriculture and mining areas and the need to duplicate the rail line. This bridge was designed and manufactured in the Midland Railway Workshops in 1928 as a pair of riveted steel plate girder spans mounted on the top of the concrete abutments with timber decking. There's a bit of history there for you folks. Here we are at the National Park Station. You can see there quite clearly that's where the uh, little shelter was and uh, looking this way you can see the old platform going along there. Can't see the bridge because of the station awning is covering it but you can qu quite clearly see this is where it was. You can see these rocks behind the, the shelter and that was back in 1936 that picture was taken. Tracks have all gone but uh, yeah a bit of history in the National Park. Unfortunately, the water floor is not flowing today. Did you enjoy a little walk to the falls? Yeah. Even though there wasn't any, <laughs> wasn't much of a fall today, waterfall, but yeah. maybe if you come back here in uh, June, July in the wet season, I'm pretty sure the falls will be flowing over that rocks, but uh, unfortunately during the summer months, it doesn't flow. But it was a good walk down there, put up a little bit of sweat, a bit of exercise, burning a bit of lunch off. There's a Margaret Forest Centre. I'm pretty sure you can, it's a function room, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it's a function room, so you can bring your little party here at National Park, undercover, with great views of the park. We're back now after a walk, we're just calling off in the car, got the aircon going. 
<laughs> unfortunately the falls weren't really falling today but not to worry we might come back here in the winter time when the rainy season is and I'm pretty sure they will be flowing like a waterfall should anyway guys I hope you enjoyed today's video we enjoyed making it on Forest National Park is a great place to come up and have lunch and have, go for lots of hiking and lots of exploring it's about a 45 minute drive north east of Perth yeah, so it's fairly easy to get to. It cost us about $13 to get in for a car load, but it was well worth it. Uh, definitely worth the trip up here. Anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video today. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and all that great stuff. And I'll see you in my next video. <coughs> oh God, excuse me.